The exact science of the human regeneration is the lost key of masonry for when the spirit fire is lifted up through the 33 degrees or segments of the, sp of the spinal column and enters into the doomed chamber of the human skull. It finally passes into the into the pituitary body, Isis, where it invokes Ra, the pineal gland, and demands the sacred name. Operative masonry, in the fullest meaning of that term, signifies the process by which the Eye of Horus is opened. E.A. Wallace Budge has noted that in some of the peppery uh, <clears throat> papery illustrating the entrance of the souls of the dead into the judgment hall of Osiris. The deceased person has a pine cone attached to the crown of, the, of his head. The Greek mystics also carried a symbolic staff, an upper end being in the form of a pine cone, which was called the thyrus or of Bacchus. In the human brain, there is a tiny gland called the pineal body, which is the sacred eye of the ancients and corresponds, and corresponds to the third eye of the cyclops. Little is known concerning the function of the pineal body, with Desicardes suggested more wisely than he knew might be the abode of the spirit of man, as its name sig signifies the pineal gland, is the sacred pine cone in man, the eye single, which cannot be opened until C. Hiram, the, free, the, the spirit fire, is raised through the sacred seals for, or, or chakras. which are called the seven churches in Asia. I gotta take a break real quick. Just give me one second. I just need a drink of water. Hall gave additional information into this deep Masonic secret in another book, The Occult Anatomy of Man. The Hindus teach that the pineal gland is the third eye, called the eye of Dangma. It is called by the Buddhists the all-seeing eye, and is spoken of in Christianity as the eye single. The pineal gland is supposed to secrete in oil, which is called resin, the life of the pine tree. This word, resin, is supposed to be involved in the origin of the Rosicrucians, who were working with the secret, with the secretins, secretins of the pineal gland, and seeking to open the third, and seeking to open the eye single. For it is said in, <clears throat> for it is said in sculpture, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye, thine eye be single, the whole body shall be filled with light. The pineal gland is a spiritual organ which is later destined to be what it once was, namely a connecting link between the human body, between the human and the divine. The vibrating finger on the end of the gland is the rod of Jesse and the scepter of the high priest, the scepter of the high priest, 
Certain exercises as given in the Eastern and Western mystery schools cause this little finger to vibrate, resulting in a buzzing, droning sound in the brain. This is sometimes very distressing, especially when the individual who experiences this phenomena in all too many cases knows nothing about the experiences through which he is passing. It appears the Freemasons and other secret societies may also re, may have also referred to the awakening pineal gland as a fil, <coughs> as a fil, this what happened now. Awakening pineal gland as the philosopher as the philosopher the philosopher stone. Manly Palmer Hall's description is but one of the many that make this strong suggestion when you consider the context. The, phil the, the philosopher's stone <clears throat> is an ancient symbol of the perfected and regenerated man whose divine nature shines forth. As the rough diamond is dull and lifeless when first removed from the black carbon, As a rough diamond is dual and lifeless when first removed from the black carbon, so the spiritual nature, spiritual nature, man, it's man in its fallen state reveals little, if any, of the inherent luminosity. He who possesses the philosopher's stone possesses truth, the greatest of all treasures and is therefore rich beyond the calculation of man. He is immortal because he, because reason takes no account of death, and he is healed of ignorance, the most loathsome of all diseases. Rudolf Steiner, a well-known scholar of the esoteric mystery schools, argued that the legend of the Holy Grail, a chalice-filled, A chalice filled with the waters of life or elixir of immortality is yet another symbolic reference to the pineal gland. The bowl of the great of the grail chalice is shaped like a pineal gland in most historic illustrations. But but upside down compared to everything else we've been we've been discussing so far a recent steiner complication entitled the mysteries of the holy grail established establishes details connections between the grail legends <clears throat> the mysteries of the holy grail establishes detailed connections between the grail legends and the pineal gland The Holy Grail is also located within each of us in the castle of the skull and can nourish our subtle perceptions in a, in a way that dispels all but most refined material influence. Steiner is referring here to the pineal gland in the brain. The Legend of the Cosmic Egg World Egg Root egg and particularly the orphonic egg 
also appears as a pineal gland references. The orphonic egg is pictured with a serpent wrapped around it, and the shape of an egg is similar to the shape of the pineal gland. I really got to take a break here. I'm in bad shape right now. I'll be right back.